So here we're prepared to start applying the epoxy resin. You could use polyester resin also to the glass cloth. So it'll soak through the cloth into the surface of the wing. And then I'm going to show a method that I use to remove the excess resin using toilet paper. Something I read about a long time ago and I just decided to start trying it on my own and it works out pretty good. All right, so here I've mixed up a small batch of resin. I'm going to use that to wet this out. Try to do it in somewhat of a neat fashion. Just I'll show you what I mean. Just taking, you can get sloppy with it if you like. Pour the resin all over everything. I like to apply it with a brush and spread the fabric out. Make sure the fabric stays where I want it to spread to lay as I'm applying it but I'm going to be doing this over the whole wing surface here right now this is all dry and it will all look more like that right there after I get done applying the resin after that point I will uh, start recording again to show you how I use the toilet tissue to remove the excess resin because you don't want puddles of resin leaving left behind when you're done so here's what the wing looks like after applying the resin. Try to get it on nice and even. Um, but you're going to have wetter spots and drier spots. And in the end, what you're going to have, once you're done applying and then removing the toilet tissue, you're going to have just enough resin to contact or, su or secure the glass cloth, rather, to the wing with no excess, no puddles. I'll start showing that in a moment. So what I've done is I've taken and I've pulled off strips of toilet tissue from a roll and you lay it over the wetted out surface and you just pat it into the wetted out surface in this manner and when you feel like you don't need to do that anymore you can grab one of the corners and you start rolling this up into a little roll I can't hold the camera and do this, so I'm going to, well, maybe I'll make this work. So as you do this, you'll notice that you can make it roll up into a nice tight little roll. And as you do, it has the effect of pushing the resin down and it picks up the excess resin. So I just taken a pick that one up. Now I'll grab this one here. You just got to be careful as you lift the edge of your tissue that you don't Pull your cloth away from the surface okay not bad there this is just a small piece I was using to cover an area that I didn't get properly with the longer pieces and so when you're all done rolling up the excess or rolling up the tissue that you applied the first time and I usually only have to do this with one application of the tissue to the whole surface now you can see a difference in how it looks but if you take this and use it like a little paint roller you can if you don't pull up the edge of the cloth like I did there you can use it to evenly distribute the resin you've got smooth the cloth back down where it needs to be and pick up the excess resin so that when you're done you don't have an overweight wing or airplane from the resin being way too thick on your laminate your uh, final surface your finished surface so this is coming out pretty good I'm probably going to do one more single piece of tissue down the center and then use that to pick up because there's still a little more resin on there that I want and the toilet tissue is saturated to the point that I can't continue using it here we are with one more strip of tissue I put a lot of resin down there for, for doing this instructional. And so I had to use one more extra little bit. Just do that, and you'll see that I'm still picking up excess resin. And the cool thing is you'll, you'd have to really try to pick up all the resin to the point that you, you don't get a good bond of your fabric to your surface. You'd have to apply yourself to doing that. This works out nice to do just enough of the excess resin that it removes all the weight 
that you don't want to leave behind but still adheres the cloth properly to your surface and this is an alternative method instead of using a squeegee with light cloth like this I tend to be a little heavy-handed and I'll pull the cloth and drag it too hard and cause it to get little runs in it and this is just since I first tried it has always worked out so there's a the wing after you're going over it with the second little piece strip of tissue just one more strip I ran down the center and then I rolled it up to pick up the excess resin and this gives you an idea of how it can look when you're all done I'm using West Systems um, slow curing hardener the 206 and epoxy resin you can use uh, polyester for this or any other system this mainly thing the main thing I'm showing off is just a different way to get the cloth spread out smooth and pick up your excess resin I per personally don't have real good luck with squeegees with a lightweight cloth like this because I tend to drag it and and pull the cloth too hard and distort everything this it's just a method that I read about probably 20 years ago and I decided to try it and it's all I've ever done. So here it is after getting done with that second roller uh, application with that last little piece of tissue and you can see that all the cloth is contacting the surface real nicely. Um, it looks shiny there, but you can still see the weave, if I can get it to focus right, you can still see the weave of the fabric. The weave of the fabric is not completely filled, which when you leave that much behind, that's where you can get a lot of excess weight. You can fill the weave later right now, you're just trying to bond the cloth to your surface. And you can see that there's not a lot of, well, there's no excess resin left on this. It's just a, a nice even application holding the, the cloth to the wood surface. And then here's the side that I still need to apply the uh, epoxy to.